Hey guys, Brennan Mejia here, the Red Ranger from Power Rangers Dino Charge. So for today's video, we're gonna look at Watch Mojo's video they released a while ago about the top 20 Red Power Rangers to see where I rank. Let's watch and find out together. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the most legendary heroes to ever don the red spandex in the Power Rangers franchise. We are Power Rangers Eric. He's one of my favorites, personally. Time Force, uh, Jason Font as Wes. Love him, and same with Dan Southworth as the Quantum Ranger, which I count as a Red Ranger. I mean, Quantum isn't really a color, but his suit was red, so I'm counting him as red. Anyway. Number 20, Brody Romero, Power Rangers Ninja Steel and Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel. This was Steel. the season after oh, yeah, Dino Charge, if you were wondering. Apparently, Romero's have a thing for saving the day. Brody's dad protected the Red Ninja Star way back when, and now that he's missing in action, it's Brody's turn to do the same. Like father, like son, right? For whatever reason, they decided in the writing for Ninja Steel, Brody's dad goes missing for 10 years, which is the exact same time my character Tyler's dad went missing in Dino Charge. I guess there's just something about missing dads 10 years and the sons being Power Rangers and the dads too. Who knew? While he looks like an average high schooler, he actually spent most of his life imprisoned on a spaceship by the evil Galvanax. Because of that, Brody's fight to protect the Ninja Nexus isn't just business, it's personal. And I really love Will. Uh, he doesn't really do Power Ranger conventions anymore that I'm aware of, but we did quite a few of them together and we would be on each other's different sources of like social media like he had a podcast at one point that i guest starred on and then he was on my youtube channel you could actually see us walking around um a city we did a con at and we were both in our power ranger suits it's like we'd go up to random people and just be like whose suit do you like better and then you know just see what they say so he's always a good sport and he loves fitness and working out almost as much as i do number 19 arico Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers. I kind of remember this as a kid, but not great, because I haven't really rewatched it. But I remember loving the fact that they were from like a water planet, Aquatar or something, I think. I don't know. If he and his team's many appearances throughout the series are any indication, Arako's presence is always worth the trip to Akatar. Akatar. I was close. I said Aquatar. Okay, pronunciation. Number 18, Rocky De Santos, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I just saw him at a con, Steve Cardenas, uh, actually like a few weeks ago. So it was cool catching up. We did a, a, a TikTok trend where it's like, I'm a whatever, of course, blah, blah, blah. I'm a Power Ranger. Of course, Brendan Mejia can do a backflip. I'm a Power Ranger. Of course I can do a backflip. <laughs> Number 17, Jaden Sheba. Power Ranger Samurai. I auditioned for Power Ranger Samurai for gold, and I believe I also auditioned for red. So, I don't know. Do you see me more as Tyler Navarro from Dino Charge or as Jaden from Samurai? Number 15, Casey Rhodes, Power Rangers Jungle Fury. Jungle Beast! We're going through a lot of seasons of Power Rangers that aren't as familiar in my brain as others. As a kid, I watched pretty much from Mighty Morphin through Lost Galaxy without skipping a beat. And then I jumped in and out depending on seasons and time with school and life. Um, and then I kind of jumped back in, booked Power Rangers myself. I rewatched a bunch of, I watched like one episode from every season to get a tone kind of feel of where it was at that point. But then I also rewatched Time Force. I rewatched Megaforce and Samurai, I think, or a lot of it anyway. But like right now we're like in that part of Rangers. They keep going over all the seasons. Like I'm very like, I don't know if I watched a lot of these ones. <laughs> Nothing against them. I just, it wasn't the thing I was watching at the time it was on. So right now we're at number 15 out of the 20 top Red Rangers. I haven't shown up yet, which could be good or bad. So maybe I'm closer to number one or maybe I'm not in it at all. And I'm like number 21 or 30, who knows? Number 14, Connor McKnight, Power Rangers Dino. I really enjoyed Dino Thunder. That is a season I watched the majority of, uh, you know, getting to see Jason David Frank come back and be Tommy again was amazing. You know, it's always cool when it's a dino themed one. And this was the first dino themed season since Mighty Morphin. Obviously Dino Charge was the one after Dino Thunder. And then obviously now after us, Dino Fury is the most current dino themed ranger season. When Connor shoots, he scores. You're in deep trouble now. Bring it. You're in deep trouble now. Number 12, Shane Clark. Power Rangers Ninja Storm. I did enjoy Ninja Storm as well. Their theme song was cool and it was actually their Yellow Ranger. I met him before, um, but he, uh, I thought at the time, because I styled my hair very similarly to him, not on purpose, but it just happened to be. And once he was cast, I was like, there goes my chance of ever being a Power Ranger because they cast someone that already kind of looks like me slightly, or I look like him. And I was just like, every time I'd see it, I'd be like, I could have been a Power Ranger too. And I'll never get the chance. 
I mean, lo and behold, I did get the chance, even with similar hair. Number 11, hey! Tyler Navarro, Power Rangers Dino Charge. So we made it to me. I didn't crack the top 10 it seems, but I hit number 11, which isn't bad. Do we think Watch Mojo is like the authority on this? I mean, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, but let's see what they say about me. While searching for his missing father, Tyler stumbles upon the greatest journey of his life. He bonds with the Red Energem and becomes the Red Dino Charge Ranger. Tyler's an energetic teen who believes that life is one big adventure, and he's here to have some fun. You took a selfie? I don't understand how you survived the heat. <laughs> Tyler Navarro definitely was into life being an adventure, and he took things seriously when they needed to be, but he always would try to find the fun in moments too, hence taking a selfie at the center of the earth, because why not? How did his phone not melt? No idea, but it didn't. They always made my character take selfies, like that was a thing he did as a quirk, uh, but on set it was actually Yoshi, our Blue Ranger, who liked to take selfies a bunch. Although I did put together a scrapbook when I was filming Dino Charge, and I took a selfie with almost every single monster of the week. So maybe one day we'll make a YouTube video going through that scrapbook so you can see me selfieing it up, being my Tyler character with all the monsters. Tyler is quick to go into serious mode when facing Sledge or Heckle's minions. And if they get in his way, things are about to get wild. What did you do to him? <sighs> Tell me! Even when the situation looks hopeless, Tyler refuses to give in. He'll keep searching for his dad until he finds him, and he'll never stop battling evil monsters until they're extinct. How about it? Better 10 years late than never, right? I talked about this in a different video, but this was uh, playing baseball with my character's dad in the season, and we look similar age because the Energems are magical sources of power that make us not age. So he bonded 10 years prior to me becoming a ranger. I hit him in the face with a baseball in this catch scene because we were playing catch and he looked away for a moment and I didn't register that he looked away and I threw it at him anyway. And then he turned back and I hit him right when he turned. It was his birthday that day too. I did buy him a nice steak dinner to say sorry. So there you have it. Uh, Watch Mojo ranked me as number 11 out of 20, which is a pretty good feat if I do say so myself. But I'm curious, what do you guys think? Where would you put Tyler Navarro in that ranking? Do you agree with Watch Mojo or would you put me higher or lower or not in the top 20 at all? Comment below. Regardless of the ranking I am as one of the Red Rangers, if you want to know how I became the Red Dino Charge Ranger and why this role means so much to me, watch this video next.